The five points of a master are significant as follows. First, the fact shows that we must always be ready to walk to the aid of our brothers. Second, the inflection of the knees is a reminder of humility. It places us on our guard against an ordinary invasion of thoughtlessness. Third, the joining of our hands given to assist our brother who is in need or sickness, as well as being a symbol of the flaming star. Five points of light, which is a definitive symbol of our order, symbolized here and here by the five fingers of the hand and the grip of the master. Fourth, the left arm thrown around the shoulder places you in a position to hear and provide counsel. And fifth, the fraternal kiss, announcing the gentle, gentleness, the unalterable unity that is the foundation of our order. Upon the tomb where you were lying was a sprig of acacia, a compass upon your head, and a square at your feet. The acacia is symbolic of rebirth. The compass upon your head is a reminder of the measure that governs all your actions that you never abandon. And the square at your feet is a reminder to always be assured of the foundation. This foundation is supported by your reason through realistic and serious meditation. Throughout this ritual, we learn that when a master is lost, he is found through the compass and square. The primary sense of this axiom is that the master mason is not led astray since he is always upon the path of duty, the square, and reason, the compass. In a secondary sense, we ask that you meditate upon a compass as the ancient symbol of the sky and the square as the symbol of the earth. It appears, therefore, that the master is lost in a sense, pneumatologic in the world, that is to say, brought to wander both worlds, with his head in the heavens and feet firmly upon the earth. In the second part of the ceremony, you have taken the place of Hiram of Eve, and you have begun to comprehend that the architect is reborn and lives in his disciples, because he is called upon to persevere in his labors towards perfection, and to continue in his undertakings for those who will follow the results of his labors. My brother, now that, we, now that you have loved and understood the supreme, lived and understood the supreme initiation that completes the preceding, we ask that you associate with us in our work in the central chamber, to agree to work with us to accomplish the great work and to help our goals. I do. You stand and come to work. Face the dead here, venerable master. Companion, would you extend your hand over the spring of acacia that rests over the compass square and volume of sacred law? Brother Grand Expert, assist the candidate into the sacramental position to become a master. <coughs> I'm Duncan. <laughs> it's kneeling and both hands on it. Both of Both of Both of Both of Aye. Aye. Jack. In the presence of the Grand Architect of the Universe. In the presence of the Grand Architect of the Universe. And this respectable lodge of Master Masons. And this respectable lodge of Master Masons. Duly constituted. Duly constituted. Under a regular assembly. Under a regular assembly. And in the consecrated tradition. And in a consecrated tradition. Of my full will and consent. Of my full will and consent. By the spring of acacia. By the spring of acacia. This compass and square. This compass and square. And upon this volume of sacred law. And upon this volume of sacred law. Very solemnly and sincerely. Very solemnly and sincerely. I promise and swear. I promise and swear. That I will always heal. I will always heal. Conceal. Conceal. And never reveal. And never reveal. The signs. The signs. Words. Words. Grips. Grips. Arcana. Arcana. Or secrets of Master Masons. Or secrets of Master Masons. To any profane. To any profane. Apprentice. Apprentice. Or companion. Or companion. And only to Master Masons. And only to Master Masons. Who have a legitimate right. Who have a legitimate right. To know. To know. And then only. And then only. After proper proofs and careful timing. After proper proofs and careful timing. I promise equally to defend all my brothers. I promise equally to defend all my brothers in actions and words. In actions and words. That my hand given to a master mason. That my hand given to a master mason. Will be a sincere token of fraternity. Will be a sincere token of fraternity. That my footsteps will traverse dangers and pitfalls. That my footsteps will traverse dangers and pitfalls. Traverse dangers and pitfalls. In order to unite with him. In order to unite with him. To form a column. To form a column. For a mutual support and defense. 
for our mutual support and defense. And finally, and finally, I will defend this honor. I will defend this honor as if it were my own. As if it were my own. I will not carry any prejudice. I will not carry any prejudice within myself. Within myself. Or allow suffering. Or allow suffering that others might create. That others might create. All this I swear to observe. All this I swear to observe without erring. Without erring. And without any mental restrictions. And without any mental restrictions. Under any time. Under any time. Under penalty that no trace. Under penalty that no trace. Of so vile a wretch. As so vile a wretch. Will be found among men. <laughs> will be found among men. <laughs> and specifically among masons. And specifically among masons. May the grand architect of the universe. May the grand architect of the universe. Assist me. Assist me. To constantly hold sacred the solemn oath. To constantly hold sacred the solemn oath. Second Warden, would you invite the Venerable Masters and Brothers who decorate your columns to recognize henceforth as a legitimate and regular Master of Mason of Egypt, Brother Chad, and to join with us in applauding his augmentation by the Baptist of Masters. Uze! 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 Liberté! Fraternity! Equality! 